What's up, fam? Tonight, Jamil and I are trying out Mama Bird's Southern Kitchen because we were told that this place is one of the best Southern cuisines you can get in Las Vegas. Yeah. We're going to see if that's true. That's what we've heard. You know, I definitely think there are quite a few different places. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we want to try more, but we were actually referred to this by some friends, yes. and they were like, trust us, it's very good. Yes. So we're excited to try it out. We are really excited. Of course, as we know, down south, they're known for their fried chicken. Yeah. So we had to get a fried chicken sandwich here in the middle. Exactly. Um, and... You can get a fried egg on top or not. <laughs> I, of course, did. Because it's like, fried why eggs not? are amazing. Yeah, why not? <laughs> exactly. Um, and then we were asking the owner, which, or I think it was the manager. Yeah. I actually didn't ask, but mm -hmm. it was very nice. Shout out to him. Yeah. Uh, we said, like, you know, what's good on the menu? We told him that we were going to get this fried bologna sandwich. Yep. The guy said, low key. It's one of the best things on the menu that people don't order. Yeah, which is crazy yeah. that they don't order it because it looks so good. It does, but yeah. I understand like people don't want necessarily like bologna. bologna. Yeah. But it sounds yeah. really, really good. It does. Um, and he said he liked it. Exactly. And then we got a brisket like grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds good. So we just wanted to get like different proteins. Yeah. We have cheesy grits over here. Nice. Um, uh, apple coleslaw, which is cool that they put apples in it. That sounds good. Yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> and then mac and cheese, of course. You have to try the mac and cheese. Exactly. You guys, sometimes we don't have good success with mac and cheese, but no, I, got, I got hope for this one. I, I got hope. I for hope it. so. This got great <laughs> reviews on Yelp. Yep. It looks incredible. Yes. Let's dive in. Let's do it. Okay, what do you want to start with? I want you to pick first, and then I will pick second. Um, okay, let's start with the brisket then. Okay. I think we'll go with the brisket because I oh, feel like it. this one is like an automatic. Okay. It should be good. Okay. So that's the brisket. There's cheese on there. Of course, brisket. Um, I guess it looks like a Texas toast, to be honest. Yes, it does. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of butter on there. It looks real shiny mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that's it. That's the back right there. Very buttered. Yep. Um, it's greasy AF. <laughs> Hella grease. I think that might be the butter. Yeah, of the toast. Yeah, yeah I think so I too. Think so. <laughs> um, but you know, we want brisket to be what? We want it to be like melting your mouth. Oh, for sure. You know, just fall apart, tender. Exactly. And yeah. flavorful. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. My mouth is watering. Let's try it okay, out. Let's try this. Here we go. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Like, what? Oh, that's. Uh, yeah. So. Wow. No, I'm not even kidding. That's delish. What's making this taste so good? I don't effing know. I think, <laughs> but right? it's so delicious. The butter. Oh my gosh. Stands out a lot. I mean, everything stands out. Mm. But I think it's the butter that's kind of taking that over the top. And with the mix with the cheese and the cheddar. Mm. Wow. Well. That brisket. Instead of being a super smoky flavor mm -hmm. that a lot of brisket is, mm -hmm. it doesn't have that smoke, but it has like a char grilled kind of taste to it, if that makes sense. I can see that. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you're saying, I think, now that you mentioned like, that. Like a griddle char kind of thing going on, which I'm appreciating right now. Let me try it by itself. Mm. Mm. It's good. Very good. Super tender. It does have a charred flavor. Right? It does. Mm. Yeah, very flavorful. It doesn't oh, yeah. quite melt in your mouth, but that doesn't matter. I think it um, does. No, no, try it. Well, let me know what you think. Try it out. Mm, okay, well. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter, but that's not a problem. It's I'm close. just saying it's not that type of brisket, mm. but it doesn't need to be because it's, it's it's very good. It's moist. I mean, mm. guys, this, this is a pretty good start. This is a very good start. We're off to a great start. That's very convincing. Great start. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's bomb. Honestly, that is bomb. Mm hmm I like, I need everybody to get this. Yeah. I absolutely agree with it. Wow. Now, this sauce, is this for this brisket or? Yeah, so that's the house sauce. Okay. Um, They put it on the chicken sandwich. Okay, cool. Now, of course, if you want to dip it in the brisket, of course you can. Mm-hmm. Um, so whatever you want to do, but. No, we'll do it We'll do it on the chicken sandwich. Okay, We'll cool. save it for that. Okay. Do, should we rate this one out yes. of 10? Yes. Let's do it. Let's rate it one out of 10. Okay. Kristen's excited. Yeah. I'm sorry. I am. <laughs> no, okay, I'm not go. even like that hungry right now. I know. But it's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's do it. One out of ten. Here we go. One, One two, two, three, ten. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's it's up there, you guys. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very good. I agree. The, um, I would say, you know, I definitely think this is a foodie food. You know what I mean? Like you have to be somebody that loves this type of dish to really enjoy this. If you're someone who doesn't like maybe too much brisket, who doesn't want too much cheese, too much butter, right? You might not be a big fan. But honestly, this is delicious. It's It'd perfect be for us. Up most people's alleys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we're here for obviously like the fried chicken sandwich because that's what they're known for. It's a fried chicken. Yep. But also we have the bologna. It's really hard for me to, yeah. to, to pick. I don't know. Let's do the bologna one first okay. because I feel like we got to cut this one. So okay. we can uh, cut that one. And we can try some sides in between. Everything. Okay. Exactly. That's true. Okay. Try okay. the bologna. So I'm going to give you the bigger half. I want the smaller half. No, no, I got I'm not even hungry. Half. I know, but I okay. had the bigger half on the, on the, <laughs> the other one. I did. And... I know. I gave that to you intentionally. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So now the fam's going to come for me. Not anymore now because you guys see I share. <laughs> okay, you guys. It's a thick cut. Oh, here. Yeah, away. It's a thick cut of bologna. I don't know if it... Is yeah, even... why is it not showing? Oh, yeah, Let it's me not. Go. Oh, there we go. It's a thick cut of bologna, uh, two slices of cheese. It yep. has mustard on it. You could sub mayo instead of mustard. Mm. But we got it with mustard because that's how it comes. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I've ever had like a like a thick cut of bologna before. Like I didn't even know they made that. Me too. I think I the, was just slices. I think the only bologna I've had is like luncheon meat yeah. bologna. Mm -hmm. But no, like you can go to a deli and get like a big cut of bologna and then that's like what this is. Exactly. And it's fried, of course. All right, well, let's try it out. Okay, I'm going to eat take from the middle because that's go. like where the major of the bologna is. Okay. Actually, mine's all on the side, so i got to <laughs> take it from the corner. <laughs> right, here we go. One, two, two three. three. What? <laughs> Ooh, actually. What does that taste like? Okay. It just tastes like a hot dog. But <laughs> better. No. Yeah, I would say better. But it does taste like a hot dog. Okay. Ooh. I think I've been missing out on like real bologna. <laughs> I don't know if Oscar Mayer <laughs> is where how you want to compare because this doesn't taste like Oscar Mayer. Well this is really good. Keep in mind. Yeah. I'm almost certain. Unless they told us. Is this American cheese? I believe it is. So, American cheese goes so well by itself with bologna. But then you add it to this cut meat and cut of bologna. It's phenomenal. Very good. It, I think it's the bread, too. Man. Whatever it, they're doing with the bread. I know. Sorry. I'm trying to think of what this tastes like. And yeah. I, it's something that mm. I've had before a lot. Mm. And it's literally exactly like it. Let me. I'm sorry. Let me one more mm. bite. I think it's a hot dog, but maybe something else. Mm. You got it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's giving me breakfast sausage. Breakfast sausage? Yes. Let me try this. It's giving me breakfast sausage. That's what it's giving me. You probably think I'm crazy, but I think it tastes like that. It's very good. Oh. Isn't it? It does kind of taste like a breakfast sausage. Like, um, mm -hmm. like a link or a patty mm -hmm. or whatever. It does kind of taste like that. It's funny you say that. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that is kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Either way, very good. this is very good. Yeah. The cheese is necessary on this thing. It adds a lot. The mustard actually, and I know mustard and bologna tend to, tends to work well, but you just didn't know how everything was going to work together. Yeah, it pairs really well. But I think there's something with the bread. I know. The bread's bomb. I don't know what it is, but that bread just it's grilled. puts everything together. It's yeah. buttery. Yeah, super buttery. Yeah. I mean, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's bomb.com. It really is. Okay, let's rate the bologna. Okay, let's rate a 1 out of 10. You gave the other one a 10, so what are you going to give this one? <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right, let's do it. One, one two, two, three, three eight. Nine and a half. Okay, cool. I like it, but it's not my favorite type of thing. You know okay. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Bologna just doesn't 100% sit well with me. You know okay. what I mean? It's good, but, you know, eight, eight's good. Okay. Eight's good. Eight yeah. is solid. Okay. Okay. Should what are we trying? We'll try some sides. Let's try some sides. Okay. Wait, um, maybe the grits? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We got cheesy grits, you guys. Mm -hmm. This looks really, really good. I believe it's white cheddar. I'm pretty oh. sure it said white cheddar. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, on the menu. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Mmm, it actually really does. Okay, okay let's try this. Here it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this might be the best place out here. Oh my gosh. I think this is. Here. I think this that is. That is bomb. 
That's one of the best grits I've had. Yeah. And it's I haven't had best. a lot of grits, but I'm telling you it's the best. Mm -hmm. For know. sure. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, they just seasoned it incredibly. I mean, this is like... I mean, this is like top level cooking. It is. It really is. I'm, oh my gosh. Wow. Shout out to Kyle and yes. Oshwin <laughs> for telling us about this place. Yep. It is so good. Yeah. I think it's Southwest Las Vegas area. Mm -hmm. um, it's bomb. Very good. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe how good that is. Mm -hmm. That tastes like what I want the mac and cheese to taste like. I know. <laughs> to be honest. For sure. I feel like it's going to taste the same. Do you want to try it? Because it tasted almost like mac and cheese. How it did. It was similar. Okay, let's try it. Okay. I'm, I'm nervous. I know. To be honest, you guys, this kind of came out of the container a little weird looking. But you know what? It don't even matter. This place is hitting so far, so let's see. So with the mac and cheese, they put some type of crackers on top. Yeah, it almost looked like the Parmesan cracker or something like that. Okay. Almost looked like that, but... We'll find out. Okay, let's see how this is. Here we go. One, two, three. Hmm. Mmm. It's it's more cheesy. It's it's cheesy. Um it's very cheesy. Very al dente noodles. Or did, was that just my bite? No, that was it. Right? They're like hard noodles-ish. Yeah, they're not. Soft. Fully soft, which to me is fine, actually. Yeah. I kind of like that. Mmm. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's bad at all. No, it's good. Yeah. It's very good. It's better. It's just that, yeah. Oh, we didn't rate this. It's hard to really explain this, but I definitely would, would, would say it's a better mac and cheese than we've probably had in a while. Mm -hmm. It's You can tell it's like, you know, it's made with love. You know what I mean? They didn't just... Throw something together really quick. No. They really worked on this. On the recipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very Parmesan-y. Yeah, it's Parmesan. Um, al dente noodles, which I do appreciate because sometimes the noodles are, most of the time, they're Too really soft. mushy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you actually can like yeah. eat it and bite it well. That's um, what I'm tasting is Parmesan. Yeah. There's a lot of Parmesan in there. I think Ooh, that's, that's what it is. So it's a little... Yeah. Feet. feet. On the feety <laughs> side. But not like to the point where it's like, oh, it's nauseating, you mm -hmm. know? But it is feet forward. Yeah. It definitely is. I agree. So, okay. I forgot to rate the grits, and then mm -hmm. we can do the let's do that mac and cheese. Okay. Let's start with the grits. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Grits, One, two, three, three ten. Nine and a half. Yeah, that was delicious. Am I just giving tens out? Like, you are left and right. Yeah, really good. <laughs> That's good though. If you love it, why not? I you do. Know? Yeah. Okay, the mac and cheese. Let's go ahead and do that. You ready? Yeah. One out of ten. One, One two, two, three, three nine. Seven and a half. Okay. okay. That's cool. Yeah. I liked it. I thought it was really good. Okay. Now we got to go for this coleslaw. Okay. Which. Jamil's not happy about it. Well, no. Not, I'm not happy about it. I'll be honest. <laughs> While I was prepping, getting everything, everything together, uh -huh. I accidentally tasted it just like like slightly. So you cheated. But but here's the thing. I didn't really get a good taste out of it because it was like little small things on me. Did you cheat or not? On my finger. No, I didn't Did really cheat. cheat. <laughs> okay. Partially. Well, well you clearly have an opinion on it. <laughs> Well, so you cheated enough to have an opinion. I do have an opinion, yes. My opinion is I didn't taste much flavor <laughs> Okay. in that bite. Well, let's hope that it was only because it, it was a small taste. Oh, they put like poppy seeds yeah, in here. Yeah, they're poppy seeds in here. Okay. It's an apple it's coleslaw. Yes. Apple slaw. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I didn't get an apple. Oh, you didn't? Oh, there's one right here if you want it. Um, oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yep, go right ahead. Perfect. Bam. Okay. okay. You ready? Yes. All right, let's do I've this. I've never had apple in my slot before. Yeah, man, I don't think I have. Oh, maybe we have. I think we have in something. Oh. I think it was smaller pieces, though. They made them like chunks. But anyways, I don't know. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Mmm. No, I didn't taste this. Mmm. Mm. That is good. Mmm. Yeah, see, what I tasted was just like a piece of it, so I didn't really get the, the sauce in here. This is very flavorful. And really good. I love the poppy seeds. Me too. The poppy seeds taste great in here. They do. Yeah, apple tastes great. It's like sweet. Yeah, very sweet. It's sweet. It reminds me of KFC. Yeah, but, but way more crunch and like texture to this. Mm. But sweet like a KFC, but but like obviously it's not in terms of quality. This is like a billion times. This better. is way better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, so far this is outstanding. That's probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. 
I could be thought on anything. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm. I would say if, mm. for anything, I would want maybe a tad, just like a little bit more sweetness. That's just my preference. Okay. You know, I'm not like a big coleslaw fan to begin with, uh -huh. but I want just a little bit more sweetness or, or I think that's what it is. However, still very, very good. Still very good. One out of ten. Should we do it? I'm ready. I think, I think Chris is giving this a ten. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, it's all good. Okay. All right, let's do Don't this. Don't act like you know me. I, I know you very well. Know who I am? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that look in your face. <laughs> all right. Okay. Here we go. One out of ten. Okay. One, One two, two, three, three ten. Eight. Yep. I knew it. <laughs> It's very good. Bomb. In fact, I'm tempted to try it with this fried chicken sandwich, I know. too. Okay. All right, should we do it? Yes. So I, I'm sad because I already know this potato bun is going to fall apart because oh, it already is. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I might have to cut it like, yeah, you know. Yeah, whichever way you want to do it. Okay. While you do that, I'm going to try a fry. Okay, good. Let's see how these fries are. Yes. So the if you get southern mm. fries, it's sweet potatoes. If you get northern fries, the regular Chris uh, crinkle That's what it cut. Is. So we mm. got you can get both, like half and half, which is mm -hmm. what we did. Um, are they good? Very, very good. Oh, great flavor! Great. Mm. This reminds me a little bit. Mm. The sweet potato fries reminds me of the counter, but better. Mm. The counter is a restaurant we used to go to in California. We never did it on a video. It actually closed down, but they had sweet potato fries that taste like that. Yeah, they did. But these are very good. Okay, am I getting this one, the bigger one? You are. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right, so, okay. ooh, ooh. That's, the egg is done perfectly. It is. Just like Kristen likes. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the yolk, but it? you know. There you go. It has a pickle, egg, mm -hmm. big piece of chicken, cooked perfectly, it's tomato, their house so sauce. Yeah. A uh, little lettuce on the potato bun. Exactly. I'm not a massive, you know that, I'm not like a massive fan of like the yolk breaking stuff, but I'm starting to like it actually a little bit more. I'm glad. The more I try it, you know what I mean? I'm glad, because yeah. it really is a good time. It is good. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's try the chicken sandwich. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. Mm. Oh, no. It's a great sandwich. Right away. Mm. It's very good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, it's giving everything it needs to give. Yeah, yeah. That's like that chicken is so moist and juicy, mm -hmm. and everything just goes so well together. Yeah. Wow. It's. Oh yeah. It's not a fried chicken that I've. Mm. Let me try just the chicken by itself really quick. Mmm. Wow. I know. This is some of the moist chi moistest chicken I think we've ever had at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Wow. This place is so good, you guys. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Out of all the restaurants we've done in Vegas, mm -hmm. this is probably one of my favorites. I agree. I actually agree. So good. Let's mm -hmm. try that house dressing. I know it's on here a little yeah. bit. But let's try dip. a little bit more, right? Yeah, let's dip this. Okay. In that house, Steph. Go right ahead. And let's see what they're working with. I know. I'll go right ahead. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I was just going to take this apart because I kind of... Mm. I think I... Oh, sorry about that. Mm. I think I ate all the chicken. <laughs> oh, did you? No. Out of there. It's all good. You have some in there. I got a little bit, huh? Okay, cool. Mmm. It's like... Mmm. Right? Oh, the house sauce is perfect. It's perfect. It's yes. perfect. OMG. No, I want to see what... Hold on. This place is phenomenal. Mmm, it's sweet. It's Thousand Islandy, yeah. but better. It is. It's like in between Thousand Island and In-N-Outs. Yeah, Actually, it's closer to In-N-Outs. Yeah, but I mean, this is a better house sauce than... Right? Man, the chef that made this stuff... Yeah, knows what he's doing. They, knew, they know. They, or she. Yeah, he or she knows what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> they really do. Amazing. This is great. Mm. How can... Mm. How can we even try this place before? Mm -hmm. I you know what? It. I know somebody mentioned this place in our comment section a while back. Mm -hmm. By the way, shout out to you. Mm -hmm. If you know who you are. Or you do know who you are, of course. Um, because You're someone right. mentioned this place. 
Mm-hmm. And it did take us a while to get here, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I'm sad it took us that long. Because <laughs> this is incredible. One of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Yeah. Everything goes well together. If you guys like fried egg, yep. have to get it. It doesn't take away from it. It adds it. Mm-hmm. It adds a creaminess to it. Yeah. Um, it's just delicious. Exactly. Like really, really, really good. Before we rate this. I wasn't even hungry. I know. <laughs> we did pretty and good. And that shows like that it's good food. It's you know what I mean? Good. If you want to yeah. keep eating it. And you know what? A lot of times, yes, when you're eating it in the restaurant, it's hot and it's yeah. ready right then and there. Uh-huh. It tastes better. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Mm-mm. That's how good this was. Okay. That's how good this was, you mm-hmm. know? Um, just make sure you have a lot of water by you. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's pretty salty. Yes. So, but I mean, you know, obviously that's a part of the experience. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Should we, should we rate the chicken sandwich? Yes, we should. Let's do it. Okay. One out of ten. Let's go for it. One, One two, two, three, three nine. Ten. Okay. I've never gotten out so many tens before. Really? Yeah. Okay. So now I got to do a little comparison for you. Okay. All right. Honest opinion. Yes. So since we've been out here, you guys, we've had multiple chicken sandwiches from a lot of different places. I think a lot of some, most of them have been on video. Mm-hmm. So the question I'm going to ask Kristen is, does she prefer this chicken sandwich mm-hmm. or Houston's hot I knew chicken sandwich? You're going to ask me that. Yes, because Houston hot's been our favorite it so has. far. <sighs> we might have to do a side by side, baby. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think a side by side would work. Because right now, yeah, the chicken uh, I think is better. Wow, yeah. this one you mean? I think this is this juicier. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I love the the breading. Mm hmm. But I love Houston's hot so- the sauce. Their house sauce is delicious. Mm-hmm. I mean, so is this though. Like, we might have to do a side by side because they're both. Because mm-hmm. I would give Houston's hot chicken in like a ten too. Yeah, I get you. Um. Mm. For me, mm. this chicken is the best. The actual chicken itself. I'm so too. It's it's way better than any other chicken that I've had in yeah. any of the restaurants. Probably yeah. ever. Yeah. <laughs> then it's very yeah. good. Yeah, and you can get just the chicken by itself if you want yep. here. You don't have to get a sandwich. Mm-hmm. But I think if I'm looking at like because uh, if I'm looking at the full sandwich, I think I gotta give it to Houston's hot. You think so? I personally do. I you put love the slaw on here. I, even with the slaw. It's oh. not that this one's bad. This one's very, very good. Very. But yeah. I personally, I think I like Houston's Hot just a, just a slight better. Like 0.5 better? Probably that. Probably 0.5, maybe even a little less. Oh. Like really, <laughs> it's it's that close. It's but close. I think I got, I'd got i have to give it to Houston's Hot. However, if I'm just talking this restaurant by itself, uh-huh. I would recommend because of the variety, because of how good everything is, mm-hmm. to come here before you go to Houston's Hot. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd recommend this place. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Wow. Do you recommend it too? Oh, a thousand percent. Okay, we got to give our full official recommendation rating. Yes. Out of 10. So if you come to Vegas, one out of 10, what would we give this place? Yes, so we we'll just want to explain one more time. Mm-hmm. There's 11,000 restaurants in Las Vegas. Yep. Okay, so when we give an overall official rating, it's really like the rating, does this mean that you're going to go out of your way when you're in Las Vegas to come here? Yes. Like So it's a really hard score that we mm-hmm. get this. Okay? Out of all the restaurants we've been to, of course. You know? In Vegas, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. One, One, two, two three, three, nine. Nine. I was about to do eight and a half. You I'm sorry. <laughs> I was about to do eight and a half, and then I was like, that just doesn't feel right it in my heart. Because right. like, you have so many tens. Yeah. And you just won't be just. Dis- and then, and as I was about to give the eight and a half, I thought about these grits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so I went nine. So sorry. Yeah. I did hesitate. It's all good. It's a solid nine, though. Yeah. Solid nine. I think that since we've been doing this recommendation stuff, which has been only about like two weeks or so, mm. Mm. this for sure has been the best place. Mm hmm. This is probably one oh. of the more solid restaurants, I'd say. If you do come out to visit, mm-hmm. if you do have a, an ability to go off of the strip, yes. come here. I think there's yeah. a couple locations, actually. Oh, there are. Right? Yes, there are. We went to the one on Southern Highlands, I think it is. Yes, it was. Las Vegas. So. Yeah. So this was very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I highly recommend it, you guys. Bomb. Now I'm ready to go to sleep. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we're done. Okay, you guys, we hope you enjoyed this review. Yes. We did want to talk about some stuff, but we're going to do it in the next video. Yeah, exactly. We'll give you updates, let you know how we're doing. Uh -huh. But we are doing great. Absolutely. And we hope you are too. And we love you guys so much. For sure. Thank you guys like uh, once again for always watching. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Per usual. Absolutely. Bye. Peace. Peace out.